Okay, good evening. Can I start? Yeah. yeah. Good evening, everyone. Um, again, thank my name is Clara Zikova English. Some of you might know me, actually, because I've been kind of um, around this building for quite some time in different, various different roles. Um, thank you, Zuzana, as well. I know that the last time we tried to do this, it didn't work out. I was sick. I'm sick again. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I just, you know, I had to make it. So I am a mezzo-soprano, but rather congested today, I'm afraid. Okay, so since um, I'm a singer, of course, I'll start with uh, one of my other passions, which is Irish dancing. Now, um, sorry, uh, out of the various talents I might have, Graphic design is not one of them, so I apologize for my uh, rather um, weird uh, presentation. Um, I started Irish dancing back in 1996, I believe, in Czech Republic um, with uh, one of the troops that I believe is still in existence today. It's called Rinkory, which in Gaelic, in Irish Gaelic, means dancers, a very original. Um, and uh, when I relocated to New York, which is pretty much, I think, 20, 20, 23 years ago, I think, uh, I started dancing with Nilo Leary School of Irish Dance, um, which is a New York-based uh, Irish dancing school that, uh, as one of the few really in the country, focuses on teaching adults. Because uh, for most of the time, I don't know how much you people know about Irish dancing, uh, you know, kids start at very, very early age and they sort of progress, progress, progress. Um, and then when uh, there are a lot of compositions, um, as you can see, this is all actually from compositions that we tend to win every now and again. Um, yay for us. Um, uh, and uh, so I was lucky to, to, to be able to join Nilo Leary School and, uh, and continue what I started in, in Czech Republic. And uh, I do recommend, if anybody wants to join in, please be, you know, feel free to contact me. Um, it's a great cardio. Uh, and if you prefer to that, you know, dancing as opposed to like just running on a treadmill, you know, this is, this is a great way to do it. Um, uh, there are two types of, I'll do just very briefly, there are two types of uh, shoes that people wear for Irish dancing. The, the hard shoes, exhibit A. These are the ones that you probably know if you've ever seen river dance or something like that. This, these are the shoes that you wear. Um, they are called hard shoes. They are kind of hard. Um, and you see those wedges. Traditionally, they used to be made out of wood with nails in them. Now it's just fiberglass. Exhibit B, the soft shoes, also known as ghillies. These are the shoes that uh, we use in those dances, group dances, that are called Kaylee. And uh, those are kind of like the dances that a lot of uh, adults focus on because it's less um, taxing on, you know, older feet and knees and whatnot. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Uh, but, you know, as I said, great fun, Irish dancing. If anybody wants to get involved, let me know. Okay, uh, because I don't have, um, you know, I have too much time on my hands. I also teach Czech at the Czech and Slovak Language Center in, in Astoria. Many of you might be familiar with it as well. Uh, this is a poster that I didn't make, my daughter made. Uh, for a conference of Czech schools in, uh, in America two years ago. Um, so some of the events that you see on it are um, kind of, you know, two years old, but like we do focus, uh, aside from teaching children Czech, we do focus on uh, uh, getting them in touch with their culture. You know, we do, we do singing, we do a lot of singing with them. I teach children um, every Saturday from 9.30 to 12 o'clock, and then I teach adults as well. So if any of you is interested in taking some Czech classes uh, every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 2.30, again, please let me know, and uh, I'll be happy to, to get in touch, to get you in touch with our director, and you can start learning Czech. It's a, I have a very fun group of people from all walks of life, and uh, they, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a nice teacher, so you don't have to be afraid. Anyway, if you want to hear the Czech kids singing, we'll be here on uh, this Saturday from 2 o'clock until 5. Uh, uh, consulate Journal is organizing the Christmas market here on fourth floor, and uh, we'll do some performances there. Okay, now, 
Me as a mezzo soprano, I picked out of all many, many, many. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> many pictures that I have. I picked this one. Um, obviously, it's not professional. This is from a dressing room in Carnegie Hall, and uh, I just love the, the tie with, with Antonin Dvořák to you know um, to just kind of being there and, and uh, continuing the Czech uh, Czech music tradition here in New York City. Um, uh, this was just before a performance at the Whale Recital Hall with the uh, uh, Lyric Opera of New York, and uh, just seeing the poster there gave me a great, great sort of sense of belonging. And uh, and uh, you know, I really loved it, this picture. Sorry about the background, you know, the waters and whatnot. It was a dressing room. Um, now, I for the last. <laughs> 15 years, I've been a member and a soloist of the Cathedral Choir, choir at the Cathedral Basilica of the Sacred Heart in Newark. Uh, we have an uh, annual candlelight carol sing coming up next Wednesday and Thursday. The reason why it's two days, it's the same uh, performance, but uh, even though the cathedral seats over 2,000 people, uh, this is such a popular event that uh, we just can't fit everybody in at one night. So we're doing it uh, next Wednesday, next Thursday. Please come, for those of you who think like, ugh, Newark, you know, who cares? <laughs> this, is, this is the cathedral. It's gorgeous. And uh, the Christmas uh, concerts are really super popular. This is gonna be the 52nd, I think. Should be 53rd, but we missed one because of uh, COVID. Um, this is the inside, just on a regular day. To the photos taken from um, from uh, the choir loft, where we rehearse every Tuesday. Uh, and again, if you would like to attend, please reach out to me, and I'll be happy to forward the information. And now I'm out of time. Um, I was going to sing something, but <laughs> I'm out of time. Yeah, a little, okay. I'm allowed to say, okay. Um, since it's Advent and since, uh, you know, uh, I just mentioned a, a Christmas concert, um, I'm going to sing a very, very truncated version of, uh, of Pastorella Naichni or the alto, alto part of it. Uh, I don't have an accompaniment. Um, I don't have an orchestra. I don't have a choir, but I'll just sing this uh, the very beginning of the of the song. It's by Yuri Ignaz Linek, who is a, a late Baroque composer, Czech composer, of course. Okay. Thank you so much.